Alright guys, welcome back for another episode. Uh, this one here is uh, nothing special. Um, maybe just a, something I decided to record that could help a uh, maybe a homeowner that wants to install a medicine cabinet, maybe has never done one. So um, this is a medicine cabinet that I installed for a customer. Um, it's actually a, uh, it's not a very high quality medicine cabinet. It's, uh, it's a project source. If you know what, what that brand is, um, you know, basically one of the cheapest money can buy. Um, so, um, basically the mission is, um, you know, do a good job and um, get it in there as quickly as I can so it doesn't cost very much for my customer because, um, you know, sometimes you have to, you kind of just need to know what your customer's ex expectations are sometimes. And, um, you know, some people want to spend the money and have something nice and some people just you know, want to spend as little as possible and just get it done the best you can and as quick as you can. So it's basically all we're doing here. Um, could have used a, uh, probably could have just used a four foot level and, um, got all these lines. But here recently I've been using my laser level a lot with the tripod. And, um, so I was just kind of using it for this, um, I think I had it in my bag, so I just happened to uh, happen to use it. So when I'm working in inside the homes, um, this is my preferred method to cut drywall: is to um, use the oscillating tool and um, just get the get the shop back going uh, hold that kind of in unison together and um, that does a pretty good job of sucking up uh, any dust that's created so that way you don't uh, if you if you weren't going to use the shop vac with that you'd, you'd create quite a bit of dust um, and become a real mess but um you can't see I've got a drop cloth on the sink and um, got the shot back going so uh, you know it's nice to keep things nice and clean when you're working and um, if you don't have one of these tools I highly recommend them uh, I don't know what we did before we had them I pretty much use it for everything just about it seems like Basically, when I'm cutting with the tool, um, I like to cut about a saw blade thickness more than the line, so that way I don't have any troubles fitting in the cabinet. That'll give me a little bit of wiggle room. So in this home, the um, this is not a load-bearing wall. So this stud here is uh, okay to take out. Um, this is a condo, and actually it was kind of funny because after I cut this stud out, I could see the back of the neighbor's medicine cabinet. So here I'm just adding um, 
a little bit of dead wood here um, just some blocking um, so I can secure the med medicine cabinet to the wall um, also that gives the drywall a little more rigidity there on the corners um, and it also lets me um, attach the medicine cabinet to the wall um, using those supports So this medicine cabinet didn't really come with any sophisticated um, screws or attachments or anything like that. So um, I used a kind of a flathead self-tapping screw. Um, and what, what that allowed me to do is, uh, is kind of seat it flushly um, with the cabinet. Um, like I said, it's a, it's a really cheap medicine cabinet. You know, it didn't come with any kind of hardware, so I'm um, kind of just making do with uh, with what I have on this one. And um, just adding a little bit of caulking around the edges so it um, everything looks nice. And um, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, you can use your finger and then a wet rag to go back over the caulking and um, that'll give you a nice clean finish and that does it. So uh, here's the end product guys. Um, you know for it being a cheap cabinet it um, turned out well. Um, everything looks nice and clean on it. Um, if you guys liked the video, hit the like button. If you uh, want to see more videos in the future, hit the subscribe button and check all to notifications. And uh, we'll see you soon.